Now you'll notice there that the dilation had nothing to do with the turning point, didn't affect the turning point. So whilst we're waiting, for those who are already looking at question six here, part one says write the coordinates of the turning point. What would be the turning point of this friend? This uh, y equals negative three brackets x plus two squared plus one. What do you reckon, Mr. Spalding? Negative two plus one. Yes, it is. So the turning point, because it's moved to the left by two and up by one. Yeah. The brackets are the opposite to where you think. Outside the brackets is normal. So think the brackets like bizarro world, B for B. The brackets is doing the opposite of what you expect. Uh, state whether the... So, would the graph have a maximum or minimum? Max. Max, why? What's the clue that... Would... Yep. That little negative will imply that there will be a maximum, so it's flipped upside down. Um, now, it's, it says part three. Would it be wider, narrower, or the same width as y equals x squared? Um, narrower. It would be narrower, because the bigger the number at the front, the stretchier it gets. So it's going to be... Oh, is, is y equals x squared like the basis of all parameters? Yes. Okay. That's like the base template, and everything's moved from there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, that is the base template. So I'm guessing there's several things that compare to Yeah, well, yeah, it's just like every linear graph is basically y equals x, just that we do something to it, yeah, and so yeah. on. Um, what would be the y-intercept for this friend? So how do I find the y-intercept? Yeah, x equals zero. Yeah, x equals zero. Negative three, zero plus two squared plus one. What's two squared? Four times negative three. Negative 12 plus 1? No, other way. Negative 11. And x intercepts. Now, actually, interesting. Oh, yeah, there will be because it's flipped upside down. So x intercepts when y equals 0. Plus 1. Well, minus 1 on both sides. Negative 1 is equal to negative 3. x plus 2 squared. One third is equal to x plus two squared. The square root of a third is equal to x plus two. Is equal to x. Okay. So we've figured out all of the numbers. We've got some rather shocking um, x-intercepts. Awful, awful x-intercepts. Okay. So, rather unfortunately, I, I did this graph on Word incorrectly, so I'm going to need to extend this somewhat. Okay, so it's an upside down graph. The turning point was at negative two, one. So it's about yay. Yay, yay. And we'll notice here, uh, if we make, the x-intercepts are very close to that turning point. It's negative two minus the square root of a third. Square root of a third is gonna be a very tiny number. So I think you'll find that there'll be very tinily, tinily on either side, if that is such a word. And then we just go, whoop, whoop. And then we keep going until, oh, we finally hit x equals 11, negative 11. That's a I've lost the touch. Yeah, I know, right? It's... And then to label it, Sorry. <laughs>